that's about 20 minutes waiting no. just gonna check the justices clerk's name there's no name there big old signature I'm very sorry to take so long. Right, the actual person who signed off the summons that your, you know, your summons was contained within was a K Townsend on the 3rd of January. What's her name? K? K, the initial K. Uh-huh. And Townsend. And who's that? Who's K Townsend? That is someone in the court. So if you want to speak to them, you'd have to ring the court and ask no, for Kate Townsend. I'm not saying I, I want to speak to them. I'm just trying to clear it because, you know, I'm in well, business. Well, that's who signed it. When the complaint was signed by us, when, sorry, when the complaint was sent by ourselves to the court in Liverpool, yeah. Yeah. they have returned it and it's been signed mm. by a Kate Townsend who's the clerk at the court. But the name isn't on the document, you see. That's it. You asked me who'd signed it and that's who signed it. But how, how, I understand, you're telling me on the phone, but on the document I'm looking at, there's no name there at all. At the bottom, there's no signature. There's a photocopy of a, a you know, a very elaborate well, that, signature, yeah, but well, there, there's, no, there's no name to. of whose si you know, who signature it no, is. No, it doesn't say the name, but there is a signature at the bottom, and I've just done a trace on your on this particular court today, and yours is a K Townsend who signed that. Oh, uh, uh, okay. And it says on the, on the document here, there's a there's a, a fee, a court cost fee of sixty eight pounds. That's correct. That's how much it's cost us to summon you to court for non payment. And that's what you paid to the court. That's what we pay to the court. Yeah, they charge us to summon you. Okay. And do you have a receipt for that payment? Well, it's a receipt that's got hundreds of. It, it, it's an. Um, it's not just your sixty-eight pounds. It's sixty-eight times how many hundred people have been summoned to today. And the money was yeah, actually I paid. You, I couldn't get you a receipt just for your individual summons because they're done on block. I see, but you have a receipt for the block. Well, we would have a receipt somewhere for the block, yes. But we are charged sixty-eight pounds to summon you. You would have it, or do you have it? Well, I haven't got it personally, no, Mr. Babalu. Ah. Sorry, I haven't got that. I see. But who would have it? Well, I don't know. Do you want me to find that out for you as well? No, because you know what it is. You know when I do my accounts, yeah? To the yeah. HMRC. And then if you put it down as cost or code cost or whatever. Well, the HMRC would accept the summons that you've got there because it shows the £68 on it. They will accept that. I'm an that. accountant. And the Pardon? HMRC want a receipt for every last penny. Yeah, I know, because I've done it myself. And when I've, when I've had something like that, I've just provided a copy of the summons and it shows how much the costs have been incurred and you can claim them back. That's not... Pr okay. Um, all right, so the case number here, 16388, I mean, I spoke to the court and they haven't got any trace of any such court case number and that's not the format of a court because number. Because as I've tried to explain previously, uh -huh. it'll be contained within... The complaint list has got hundreds of people on, on one complaint list. I see. That case number is, is for our records. Oh, it's not for the court? Well, look, I don't know whether the court keep that. I can't speak on behalf of the court because I don't work there and I'm not a clerk, you know, a clerk in the court. Ah. I don't know what the court do. I'm really sorry. I'm not familiar with their procedures. Okay. So, um, you said you made a complaint about me or something and obviously it's all no, wrong. But I, I wasn't... Not... Did you serve those... Did you serve a copy of the complaint on me? No. Oh, when how I say come? we've made a complaint about you, what I mean is yeah. every every month that we have a court every four weeks, yeah. certain um, accounts flag up for non-payment. So we, after you've had your reminders and your final notices and everything else that we have to, you know, give legally, we can summon you. So we request so, it. So, and when I say a complaint, yeah. it's a complaint list that goes with hundreds of people's names on to the court for them okay. to say to sum to send the summonses out to you, Mr. Badalow. Okay, okay. So you say once you've ever done everything, you have to do legally. Yeah. yeah? Once we've issued all 
the proof of work that we have to, we, we can summon you, and that's what we've done in this case. So you've you, had your reminder, you, okay. and you've had your final notice. So do you have to legally serve me with a copy of the complaint? No, we don't. We don't ah. need to actually come to your door and hand it to you if that's what you mean. No, it's no, no, in any way, court, by post, whatever. Court. But if, if you, when you, when you file against someone, that person has to have a, the information and, and the chance to um, respond yeah, to it. I, you, you can't you send a summons when you've never done any proceedings, you know. No, well, we have, because we've sent you a reminder. And but and you a can't send me a summons. Only the, only the court can send me a summons, surely. The complaint list is signed off by the court, which gives us... But the court the, told me they don't know anything at all about this, and this is not even a court case number. Back to us, and it's signed. I mean, off this by thing, this clerks. thing's got a, a barcode on it. Surely, it's not a court document. It's got a barcode. No. It's got a barcode in case you wanted to make payment before the court date to stop it going. But to wh court. why should I make payment for money I don't owe? Well, uh, as far as we're concerned, we haven't had any information from you about a new tenant moving into. So but you didn't serve. You didn't serve me with any any of the proceedings. So how can you expect me to um, defend myself? Mr. Badaloo, I'm really, really sorry about this, but I am not legally qualified. So what I yeah. suggest you do is I suggest you put everything query that you have down on an email and email it to us out and we'll get someone to look at it. What, what's more, the a email? Lot more qualified than me. What's the email it's address? It's lowercase, it's council tax mm -hmm. at yep. St. Helens, which is S T, there's no dot after S T. Yep. And then it's H-E-L-E-N-S. Uh-huh. Then it's dot yeah. G-O-V dot U-K. Um, so your name was Paula again, yeah? Yeah, but you don't put my name on. If you send it to that, it's the generic inbox for council tax. Well, that can can I ask you to put a, a note on my file, please? Uh, I'm going Paula. to put a lot of notes on your no, file. No, I want you to put one discussed. simple note. One simple note, yeah? Pardon? I want you to put a simple note. Yeah, I'm going to put a large note on no. about <laughs> I don't need a large family. note. I'm well, just telling you. Because we've just got <laughs> a lot of things today. I'm telling, I'm telling you what I would like you to put on my on the note. Well, I'll put down that you want a single note, but I'm going to put down that I've had to note the account well, has well, paid uh, off. Yeah, the most important thing I want you to put down, yeah? Can 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 you can you uh, take... And what do you want me to put down, Mr. Okay. Bandabib? The first thing is... Um, uh, you've not provided any evidence to me nor the court that, that I owe this money, yeah? Number two, uh, you didn't serve me with any proceedings for, um, you know, issued by the court. There's no court seal we've on this document. We've sent the summons by post and we've got a proof of postage, so that's good enough to This is served. not a summons. It has the word summons written on it, but it's not a summons. A summons has to be sealed by the court and issued. What, I yeah. think you should just put this all in an email and send it over and we'll get one of the managers to look you at know, it. You know, I'm you. doing, I'm videoing this for the, and I'm putting it on the YouTube because for the, to educate the public how they are being scammed with a court order scam, with people like your company stealing money by using the name of the court when it's got nothing whatsoever to do with the court. And I want a copy of the receipt for that £68 you paid to the court. Thank you very much. One moment, please.